Hello traders everywhere, Adam Houston here, co-founder of Market Club with your midday market update for Friday the 14th of October. Well, it's been quite a week to say the very least. And the question is, is this rally for real? What is behind the market rally? That's the question on many traders' minds. However, the market has been going higher, admittedly on light volume and admittedly to an area that has presented problems for the S&P 500 in the past, and that level is the 1220 level. It's important to respect market action as we really believe that trumps everything in the long run. The market is at the moment at some very crucial levels and if one looks at the past two months, you can see that we have just been a very broad trading range. I believe that professional traders will be shorting the S&P 500 against the highs that we have just recently seen. The risk is maybe 10 or 15 points and the downside profit is maybe 200. So the risk reward ratio is really quite attractive from a trading standpoint. Two flies in the ointment that we see right now is that the fact the S&P 500 is heavily overbought on the Williams percent R indicator and at resistance. The second point is the fact that our monthly trade trial continues to be negative for this market. I believe that combination will begin to put this market on the defensive perhaps as later, even today, later and next week. It has been an interesting week to say the least, and it would appear that all the markets that we track are closing against their major trends. This is not to say that the markets have reversed course, it's simply to say that we have seen a counter trend rally against the bigger trends that we place more faith in. Now let's go to the six major markets we track every day and see how we can create and maintain your wealth in 2011. But first, let's see quickly, is personal coaching right for you? You know, these are markets you really need to have help and you really need to understand how the markets work. If you've never had a personal coaching course from us, you really want to check it out. You can give us a call. It's toll free, 1-877-219-1482. Speak to a, one of our representatives. It's free information and they'll tell you all about the course. So just give us a call, 1-877-219-1482. Now let's go to our portfolio manager and uh, we're going to be looking at the six markets we track every day. Some interesting moves in these markets and the first one we're going to look at is the S&P 500. <clears throat> and this is what I was mentioning to you before. Now we did have a weekly trade triangle which means the market's more neutral but we still have a longer term monthly trade triangle which has been in place since, I'll just take these off some of these it's been in place since this level on August 2nd at 1258. So it's still in the black. Now look at the market action. We're right up against the top of the Donchian trade channel. We're also, if we scrope this down, we're also heavily overbought. Very similar to these periods here. I think we're going to see the market fail here. That's my gut feeling. And look at the volume. The volume has been very, very light on this rally. So again, it tells me that there's really no, it's been almost a, what they call an event-driven event. And uh, we've been trading on headlines. If the stories come out of Europe, hasn't gone away. None of the problems in Europe has gone away. They may think they've gone away, but the reality is they're just kicking the stuff down the road for someone else. Now, if we see the market close lower, let me just, we've got three months, but if we go closer in, if we see the market close below 12.03 or take out today's low, 12.05, I think there's a good opportunity that professional traders will start to sell this market against these recent highs. And I think that's a very, very real opportunity. So let's see how this works out later today. The market is higher for the week. Uh, last week, we closed right here. And that was around the 11.55 area. So the market's put in a remarkably good week. So no question about it. But let's see how things play out for the rest of the day. Uh, again, I think uh, this market's going to have problems right around the 12.20 area that we mentioned. We hit, we hit a high of 12.21 today. And uh, that may be all we'll see on the upside. Let's see how it plays out. So let's go to our next market. And the next market we go to, two choices here with Market Club. You can either close this up here with a little X and go right to the portfolio, or you can simply just scroll here with the arrow and it takes you to the next market, which is really, really nice. So again, let's take a little more action here. You can see that this market, this is the silver market. The silver market is trading at 32.10. Uh, it looks, it's a little bit higher for the week, but not very much higher. 
and it really seems to be struggling. All of our indicators here are negative. And we, this is going to be somewhat held hostage to what happens to the equity markets. Now, if we see the equity markets going down again, then I think we'll see silver, which is now tagged as an industrial metal and not a precious metal. I think we'll see this market on the downside. Now, you can see that all of our trade channels, unlike gold, are, are all red, meaning the market's heading lower. Uh, we've got a minus 70, but it looks as though, I'll put my telestrator on here just to give you an idea of what we're looking at. It looks like you're seeing the market come down and this is a, a pull down right here and we're sort of seeing this this sort of action. This sort of feeling to me is, is a uh, continuation pattern and if we're right the market does break down which would be in line with all of these three indicators then we could be looking at a target zone of $20 announced for silver. Now, there are other things to take into consideration. Let me give you an ex example of that. If we scroll down here, you see we've gone from being very oversold, which is right here, to now overbought. Now, if we start turning down back from this level, I think there's a good chance we'll see that market go down. And let's just see if I can get this, uh, clean this up a bit. I beg your pardon. Let's just take this, clear this off the screen and turn this off and see if we can get this. Yeah, you can see this is a little hard to see, but basically the Williams, the Williams Center is very overbought. And let me just show you very quickly how to change these around because it's just, these are below chart studies and I'll show you how you just put them on. So you can just go here and you simply go to below chart studies. You can take everything off just very simply. The first one we can put in, there's no volume in the spot silver market because it's traded around the world, but the ones we want to look at right now, we want to, to look at, we'll put the volume in because we'll be looking at some other markets that do, does have volume. We want to put our Williams percent R indicator, which is right here, and we also want to put in our MACD. So the MACD we want to put in next because we want that not to be on the top, but we want the Williams percent R to be on the top. So they should all be in now, and as you scroll down, That's not the Williams percent R indicator I just put in, but there's the MACD, and I need to change this because I obviously did not put the right indicator in. So, rate of change, and we don't want that, and we want the Williams percent R, and I'm going to do away with that and do away with that. So, I want the Williams percent R, let's take that off, and I want to put the moving average convergence divergence in, and the, no, I don't want that one. I want the Williams percent R, so that should do it. There, that's better. Okay, so we are seeing this market really in an overbought condition. We expect we'll see a pullback from these levels in line with our other indicators. So let's go to our next market. I'm going to go simply this way. It's just one more click, uh, but let's look at the gold. And you have these these options here for chart. You can smart analyze. If you click here, you can very simply see. It'll take you to a page that will analyze the markets for you if you don't have the time to do it yourself. So here, gold spot, quote, fundamental, uh, plus 75. We've got a lot of indicators in a plus mode for this market. And if we want to see a chart, you simply click here. It's very easy to use the program. <coughs> And we'll look at a spot gold. Now, spot gold trades basically 24 hours a day. Saturday is the only day it really doesn't trade very much. It trades a little bit in Hong Kong. But uh, when the Far East comes in on Sunday night, maybe in the Australia, it starts to get active again. So here you are. You're, you've had the move down. You're in the Donchin trade channel. You're in the midpoint of the channel. Uh, there's really not a lot. You're also overbought. You've made new highs here. <coughs> I'm a little bit concerned with this simply because our indicators are still mixed. We've got an intermediate down and a long term up, meaning there's some confusion. There's no clear trend. So we may be back and forth in this market. So I, I would pay very close attention to the this indicator right here, the intermediate, the daily one. If this turns down, then I think you'll see some more pressure. But nonetheless, the pattern is very different from gold. Even though it looks the same, it's a different pattern. 
Gold is up about $30, $40 for the week. Silver is practically flat for the week. And this is what we were talking about a couple of weeks ago about buying gold, selling silver as we feel that ratio will continue to favor being long gold. So let's go to our next market. And yeah, the next market we're looking at is going to be, hold on. I'm going to go back to my portfolio, and it's easy to do. And the next is going to be the crude oil market. And the crude oil market's interesting. Had a big update today, but we're gain in the sort of premise of this this downward channel in the Donchian trade channel. So you can see it got up to I think we traded 87.48. Uh, we're currently trading 87. So it's still pretty close to the highs. Nonetheless, it's still towards the upper end of the range. The market is overbought, much like it was here in these levels here. Not to say it can't go higher, but uh, it is overbought, and the Williams pit cent R is overboard and the MACD is just beginning to turn up. So it's going to be interesting to see how this works out, but I would go with our long-term and intermediate-term indicators, the triangles, and they are still really negative on this market. So I would not be surprised to see this market turn around just like, uh, let me give you a good example of what we're looking at. Potentially, if you look at these markets, look at the big moves you've got here lower low, here lower high, lower low, here a lower high, lower low. If it turns her down from here, we'll have a lower low again. So again, the, the trend is very clearly on the downside. So let's see how that plays out later today and early next week. But nonetheless, it would look as though the trend is still longer term negative for crude oil. So let's take everything off the screen, go to our next market. And the next market we're looking at is, of course, the dollar index. Now, the dollar index is pretty interesting because this had a pretty big fall uh, from where it was. And a lot of this has just been uh, event driven from Europe. Uh, but we, nonetheless, now look at what's happening now. I want to share this with you because it's kind of interesting. Now, let's get a little closer. And I'm going to put this down here. And what I'm going to do is draw a Fibonacci retracement from the highs to the lows right here. And you can see we've hit the 50% retracement. Uh, we're at the lower end of the Donchian trade channel. Now, the chances are of this market going lower here, I think, are very slim. Um, we've also got a situation where the market is in a longer term trend. And also, if we scope down further, we're very oversold. So, much like we were back here, you can see what happened there. So I think, generally speaking, we, we talked about this yesterday. What we want to see happen in this market is some sort of consolidation uh, around these levels. Just oh, hold on. We want to see some sort of consolidation just like this, uh, maybe a little further down. But then I think we'll see the market go up and t probably test the 78.50 level again. But nonetheless, it would appear that we're at the lower end of the range. It's the first time we've been there since this level here and this level here. Now, even if we don't get the big move, we could possibly get a move something like this back into the range, but higher up. So I think for the moment, with the market being oversold and with the very oversold here and the MACD still negative, we may have to do a little more work before we see that market play out. But nonetheless, I would say the odds favor the longer term being up uh, in this market. So let's see how it plays out. But we just got below that level today. I think we could see um, some further consolidation. And then I think we'll see the market move up. So let's go to our next market. And that's going to be the CRB index. Now, the, the Rogers Jeffrey CRB index is really very closely tied to crude oil, and that's why we're up today. Now, we were talking about this level, and I'll draw the line in for you because we've obviously exceeded. This is the previous area of support, and we talked about this yesterday. And if we draw this along, we sort of just got here. And this is certainly, um, if we look here, we're looking somewhere in the 315 and a half, 316 level. And I think if we looked at it on a closed basis, we uh, maybe, yeah. So we're very close to where this market's going to have a problem. So I think for the time being, we want to reserve 
uh, judgment, I still think we're going to see this market turn down and based on our trade triangles, which right here are still negative. And I'll scope this out a little further for you. This is going to be very, very important uh, in the coming year because obviously if inflation kicks in. But if you just look at this chart, and I'll take off the studies that we have on here. We have the parabolic and, of course, the Donchian trade channels. But if you just look at this from a very simple visual, you can see the type of market. And this is where it's very important in my mind to look at and see how these markets trade. And if you look at simply the lower, 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 and is it going to turn around here? That's a good question. Now the question is, if we put a Fibonacci in here, where does that leave us? And let me clear, clear this off the screen. And simply Fibonacci tool right here. Grab here, pull down, and a little further. And you can see right now we're just getting into that 50% range. In fact, we've exceeded around. It's just right at 50%. So I would say between these levels here, uh, I think you're going to see the market have a definite area of resistance. It depends on what happens to crude oil. Crude oil is very much a part of this index. It makes a major part of this index, and that's why you're seeing the move up. Now, if crude oil, which is tied to the equity markets now, it just seems they're all sort of intertwined. And this is why I like to show you these six major markets, because they're very, very important. And I think if you follow them, you will do very well in the future. So sometimes the equity markets are in favor, then they're out of favor, crude oil, vice versa, the metals. We want you to have a broad education in terms of what can work for you. So let's leave you with this one quick message, and that is one-on-one -on -one Market Club personal coaching. Give us a call, 1-877-219-1482. I'll be back this weekend with a weekend update. We'll be looking at these markets on a longer term and the weeklies and see how we close and what we're predicting for next week. So don't miss this weekend's update on this channel, Market Club. I'm Adam Hewison for Market Club. I'll see you tomorrow.